Hey, welcome to Planet Hex Review Time. I'm Andrew Horn. This is a mini episode that I put out during the week where I revisit something that I used to love or I discover something new and see what I think of it. Tonight I'm going to talk about this, Adventures of Galaxy Rangers. Now this was a cartoon series in the 80s that I lapped up as a kid. I loved it. I was big into things like you know, Brave Star at the same time as well. It was the back end of things like um, Mass of the Universe, Mask and things like that being huge. And I've always been had fond memories of Adventures of Galaxy Rangers for uh, many reasons. I remember it being a good straightforward adventure story. I remember it played very well alongside episodes of Brave Star. But in my head it ran for a lot longer than it really did. I think it only ran for one series in total. No, it did actually. It only ran for one series. And I um, revisited it lately. Um, back to back. The whole thing. Um, I just wanted to see if things like Adventures of Galaxy Rangers, Brave Star, um, Mask... Jason the Wheel Warriors, Ulysses 31 and things like that. I want to see if they were still, uh, if they would still hold up now with the mind of someone in their 40s. Well I say, well, physically I'm in my 40s, mentally I'm still about 15 but I don't think that ever changes really. So I rewatched Adventures of Galaxy Rangers and it's, um, it's still fun. It's not as good as I remember. I see why it wasn't renewed and I see why it wasn't a big hit because I don't think the um, the the mix of the like old Wild West sort of style with the sci-fi future thing it didn't really take off. So there was there was Galaxy Rangers and there's Brave Star that had the the mix of Wild West and distant sort of Star Wars futurized um, elements to them. And it's fun, but it's not great. The animation is dated. The the theme tune is dated. Although I love that theme tune. It is a really cool theme tune. Um, the writing isn't great, the performances are patchy, but it holds together as a, a nice interesting piece of pop culture history, and I'm all for that. So the cartoon itself was great um, when, I was, when I was like eight when it came out, or whenever, I think it was about 8 when it came out. I remember it well, I remember all the, I like the special abilities, I like the guy with the glowing arm, I like the, the sharpshooter and the science dude, but the, there are elements of like tokenism. They needed a non-white cast, cast member, they needed a lady, but there's only one of each. So it wasn't very diverse, but it wasn't a very diverse time uh, in a lot of media. So. It is noticeable. It is more and more noticeable when I revisit these things that are older. That um, it wasn't great for a lot of people, and I didn't realise that at the time. Didn't understand that at the time. So I just took it in as these were the characters. Uh, but it is interesting to to revisit these things um, as an adult. I try not to read too much into them because I try to still accept them for what they are as some you know, bubblegum entertainment that was essentially intended to sell toys. There was a Galaxy Rangers toy line. Um, if, good luck finding any of those pieces on eBay. They are very expensive. Um, it wasn't a great toy line, but despite all its faults, I, it still holds a special place in my heart, this. I remember enjoying it as a kid, and I remember it taking me to those far off distant galaxies and those space adventures. I love anything with spaceships in, and robots and lasers, in particular laser effects. I'm a big fan of anything with laser guns in it. So Adventures of Galaxy Rangers, it doesn't hold up to, it wouldn't hold up to a modern audience. Um, I don't think it will ever get rebooted or remade. I don't think there will ever be a live action version of it. It's very much of its time. And as a time capsule of what was, what was around at the time, it's fascinating and it's a lot of fun and you cannot resist loving that theme tune, the theme tune itself is worth hearing, oh man. The theme tune itself is the main, I think the theme tune is what I remember the most and the opening titles where you see all the powers and the, the abilities that these characters have. So it was nice to revisit it. Will I revisit it again? Probably, probably because I just, I love it, I love it. But yes, Adventures of Galaxy Rangers, if you can stomach mid 80s animation, scripting and performances with one of the greatest theme tunes ever, do check it out, do give it a revisit. It may stir some nostalgia in yourself. So that's my little piece on Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Here this is Planet Hex Review Time. I'm Andrew Haunt, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. I do these little mini episodes during the weekend. At the weekend there's a full length Planet Hex to look forward to where I talk about VHS, pop 
culture and all kinds of other weird stuff. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Planet Hex Review Time.